Okay, welcome to math class. I'm Mrs. Cohen, and make sure you have your pencil and paper and you're taking notes. Today we're going to talk about finding area of multiple shapes. We've talked about finding the area of a circle, finding the area of a rectangle, a square, a parallelogram, a trapezoid. Now what do we do if it's none of those? Then we have to break the figure apart. At first glance, this looks like maybe a trapezoid to you, but it's not. Because it, a trapezoid is a four-sided figure. This is a five-sided figure. So, we have to look within. Notice, we have this dotted line going down the middle. Now this should be right, right angles here. And that's telling you, that's a hint, separated into two figures. So if we take this, and we go through this to see, look, we have a four-sided figure because this 12 feet becomes one of the sides of one of the figures. Make it into two figures so that you can see that. It folds over on itself. Okay, so there's symmetry. Because of that, that's like taking a mirror and looking at yourself. And you see the same thing that you are. Okay, that's symmetry. So we can fold this in half. It's two, it's two trapezoids because we have one set of parallel sides. These two are not. So we're going to use the formula right away and realize, oh, I have two of them. If I find the area of one of the trapezoids, then I just have to multiply by two. So we start off and we must write our formula first. One half times the quantity of b sub 1 plus b sub 2 times h. So our bases are 9 and 12. What do you think this measurement is? It's not 12. Yeah, it's 9 feet. So we'll go ahead and put that in. So B sub 1, we don't go 9 and 9 because that's not a, pair, that's not a trapezoid. That's a five-sided figure. That's a pentagon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have to do this one. So it's 9 plus 12 times 3. The height is not 6, it's 3. Okay, so when we simplify this, right here we get 21. 9 plus 12 is 21, you have to show that. Then we're going to plug all this into the calculator. 0. 0.5 times 21 times 3, and we get A equals 31.5 square feet. That's the area of one of the trapezoids. How many do we have? Two. What are we going to do? Multiply it by two. That's how I show my work. And then the total area is, of the pentagon is 63 feet squared. Well, now let's look at this one. This one's a little bit more complicated. And they don't give you any units. So you've got to remember that your final answer is going to be u squared, unit squared, because you're finding the area. So what we do is we plug in the missing parts to help us. What's the measurement of this part? This is a rectangle. And you want to separate it. And this is a trapezoid. What's the missing part? 26. It has to be 26 because this one's 26 and this is a rectangle. And a rectangle has two sets of parallel sides. Okay. So I'm going to start with the easy one. I'm going to do the rectangle. I identify my formula. Notice how I'm showing all my work, neat sequential steps, vertically. So base times height is A equals 26 times 14. 26 times 14 is A equals 364 units squared. You must put units squared because you're not done. This is a part and you found the area of the rectangle. Now we're going to come over here we're going to find the area of the trapezoid. One half times the quantity of B sub 1 plus b sub 2 times h. Remember, these can be interchangeable. And this is 26. Now we look at the trapezoid. Now we're looking at this figure. Right here. Alright, now that's trapezoid. We have to find it separately. a equals 1 half. And the, leg, the bases are 20 and 26. Again, it doesn't matter which one you decide is b sub 1 and b sub 2. So 20 plus 26 times the height is 8 because it's in the interior angle. When we work this, we're going to get A equals 1, well no, you don't have to do that. We have 46 and we're going to say, okay, 
in the calculator, I'm going to plug in and put 0 0.5 times 46 times 8, and we get 184 units squared. All right, but what do we want to know? We want to know the total area. So we take and we add these two, and the total area is equal to 548 units squared. Now, when you come to class tomorrow, we're going to practice some, or we're going to do more, we're going to do our homework in class, finding the areas of different shapes, where you have to cut them into the shapes that we know how to find the area of. Okay? So bring to class two things that you learned about finding the areas of different shapes besides quadrilaterals, and one question that you still have on finding the area of different shapes. Have a great night. Bye-bye.